right, everybody. We're heading toward the closet of technology. to see the stuff in the corner but I'll try and give you a little bit of a narration here so I've got a Dell right here and then below it I have an Acer tower can't maybe see that vaguely and then another Dell Silver until these look a lot alike. They have that same sort of appearance. One being black and the other one being silver. And I got this HP Envy with an i7 and a Radeon graphics. <coughs> Excuse me. This is probably my most powerful hobby system. <coughs> Excuse me, pardon, pardon me. A lot of dust to work on today. A lot of cleaning it, so I swallowed probably a cloud of dust. Anyway, this is the back end of another HP system. Don't mind the stuff. This is just keeps it from clattering and toppling over. And yet another HP system here. This is an oldie. It's 2009, but it's been a solid system. Interesting little hidden away compartment for the USB. And then we got a newer HP system. It's a little yellowed, but if you can look beyond that, it's a solid contender for uh, one of my faster systems. And then, of course, I have an Acer. It's a AMD Avalon 2 X2 64 bit with NVIDIA graphics. And then on top of that, we have a nice i5 <coughs> HP Optiplex 990. Above it, we have one of my newest systems, and definitely one of my favorites is an HP sporting a, it's got an Intel i but it's a newer generation. It scores really well. So it's one of those, I think it's uh, 2015 uh, system. But for a hobby system, it's pretty dang good. And then I have this here. This is a Acer that I just picked up recently. It also is an i3. And yeah, I was happy with this guy, Aspire. So this is much newer than, for example, this one. This is also an Acer, but this one's way newer and much, much better in terms of performance. And then we get into my Think Centers stacked on top of each other. So here's one Think Center in the series. Another Think Center. 
And then beside it we have a HP Compact system. It actually has decent performance for what it is. And we got a Core 2 Duo. And this is a Dell Optiplex 780. And then finally we have my another final Think Center. So three Think Centers. And my cool little very small little tower, Acer Tower. Very, I like this guy. I think they call it a Veritile 1000. One of the newest acquisitions I came across was this thing, and I should show it to you. It's pretty cool. I like it. It's a... I thought when I saw it at the thrift store, I thought, is that like a... I thought like, oh, maybe that's a, um, like a router. Looks like a router, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks a lot like a router. I see this kind of thing on routers all the time. Or this kind of look. Anyway, this guy's an Acer Chrome box. So it's running Chrome, Chrome OS. And it, uh, it, Chrome OS is, I don't know, I'm not a lover of it gets the job done you can do a little bit of web browsing. What I like about this over say something like a Raspberry Pi is it actually has, they thought about like ventilating it, putting a fan in it. That's my one beef with Raspberry Pis. They should come with the fan. I know you can put one in, I know you can mod them and all that jazz, but I think they should just stand or come with a fan. They run way too hot. <clears throat> so this guy actually doesn't. What's nice about it? It has this developer mode. It's running an Intel chip inside. So the nice thing about this thing is you can you can turn on developer mode, and what that does is the Chrome OS just installs Debian as a operating system to run alongside the Chrome OS and you can run Linux apps in it. The only thing of course is it's tiny, tiny um, SSD, I think it's 16 gigabytes, so that's the, the fatal flaw with this thing. It should have much more storage, but you know it's a Chromebook and they want it to be kind of crippled. So don't, people don't just start installing Windows and stuff on it. Or Linux. Of any capacity. So anyway. There you go, guys. That's my... My wall. My... Closet of, of old technology. And of course, some of these things are gonna probably see the light of day again, and I'll set them up. We'll run some benchmarks, and we'll play around with them a bit, experiment with them, and get an idea of how they run. So, uh, you know, these are all either retired business systems or things I picked up from Value Village for a song. So I'm a big. I'm a big fan of finding these things at Value Village and refurbishing them and, and, you know, and using them. I like to use them for about a month if I can, just to get them, give them a good run. And, uh, yeah, you know, just play around with them. They're not my, my main daily drivers for work or anything, but you know what? They are surprisingly powerful, what they are. And, uh, you know, it's... I think it's really cool when you can find something nice and small and compact like this, or like this, or even like this, little tiny things. But they, yeah, they're full-scale computers. And these big ones, well, the good thing about them is they're easy to upgrade, and you never have to worry about the thermals because they actually have proper ventilation, as opposed to this thing, which doesn't have enough airflow, frankly. But, uh, yeah. Pretty cool stuff. 
So I hope you've enjoyed my little tour of my desktops. Of course I have, that's my extent of my desktops, but I actually have another, well, I have some Macs, but I also have um, like a ton of 30, over 30 um, laptops, which are in a different location. And right now, because I'm moving my office space, they're kind of buried, but they again will also make some appearances. I got a number of think pads and different uh, systems that I've either picked up from Value Village or have been retired from my working environment. So yeah, very cool. This is sort of a little hobby I do. I don't, I don't make videos, just so you know, I don't make videos to actually make money. I just make videos for fun. So I hope you enjoyed my little tour and uh, I'll see you in the next video.